welcome to WMI TV News, brought to you by Horn Auto Center on the West Deuce of Clubs in Sholo, the Chevy store that saves you more. Now from the WMI TV Newsroom, here's Laura Singleton. I'm Laura Singleton coming to you from Sholo TV Studio every Tuesday. Today's top story comes from a place of charity. Today is Giving Tuesday and there's still time to donate tonight. When it comes to donations and funding, nonprofits really took a hit last year. Many of them, like the Humane Society of the White Mountains, were forced to cancel their annual fundraising events. The same applies to Pet Allies and Round Valley Animal Rescue. And there are many nonprofit organizations in the White Mountain region that rely on community support. The White Mountain Safe House, VFW, the Women's Club, Submarine Veterans, the Family Advocacy Center, Senior Centers, and so many more. So visit azgives.org for more information on how you can donate to your favorite charity. Now to Heber Overgaard. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, U.S. Forest Service, and the Apache Sitgraves National Forest have set an April 22nd deadline for comment on the Heber Wild Horse Territory Management Plan draft. It also includes an environmental assessment with the management plan. It is specific to how the U.S. Forest Service will go about managing Heber wild horses that live in the forest. To find the draft or to comment, visit the website www.fs.usda.gov forward slash project. Or see the story in your Tuesday, April 6th Independent for additional ways to submit comments. Now to an announcement. The White Mountain Independent is proud to announce the best of the White Mountains, where you, the community, gets to vote for your favorite businesses. Voting starts today and ends April 30th. This is your chance to support local businesses and help us thank them for the awesome job they've been doing. Now to your weather forecast, brought to you by White Mountain Publishing. Wednesday should be sunny and windy, but warmer with highs close to 70. Thursday is expected to be mostly sunny, windy, and temperatures staying around 70. Friday brings sunshine, gusty winds, and highs still in the low 70s. More details on any of the news you've heard today can be found in your Tuesday or Friday Independent. Also, don't forget to like and share the WMI Central Facebook page for local breaking news updates. Remember, today's news was driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Thank you for watching. I'm Laura Singleton.